Is Viagra or Cialis not working for you anymore? Do you want to increase ED drug effectiveness now? In this video, I will show you everything you need to know about the six strange but scientifically proven secrets on how to make ED drugs work better now and tell you the success rates for each method based on medical research studies. Welcome to the Cure the Expert channel. Cure the Expert is a California Medical Board registered telehealth clinic focusing on men's health. Knowledge is provided by Dr. John OMD, licensed U.S. physician. I'm Cure Expert science analyst and your host, Eileen. Please remember that all information is for educational purpose only, not as medical advice. Do not change how you take your drugs or any of your treatment plans without your doctor's specific approval. Also, if you get something useful out of this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's get started. Be sure to watch to the end because you might really be surprised at which method is actually more successful. Strange Secrets Number 1 can sildenafil, which is generic Viagra, become more effective just by increasing its dosage? I think you might be really surprised at the answer. If the drug is sildenafil, then as inferred in this study with more than 11,000 men, yes, increasing the dosage from 50 mg to 100 mg does seem to make it more effective for these men. So, if sildenafil is not working, would increasing it to 200 mg or higher work even better? Actually, according to this study, the answer is not so much. For these 54 men who went from 100 to 200 mg of sildenafil, only about 24% said the higher dosage make it more effective. So, it looks like increasing sildenafil dosage might make it more effective. But going above 100 mg for sildenafil may not work well, not to mention at such high dosage. Side effects may be extreme. For those who are interested, they should ask their doctor about this. Strange secrets number two. But what about Tadalafil, which is generic Cialis? If Tadalafil is not working, would it be more effective at a higher dosage? For Tadalafil as well, if a patient is taking 5 mg on demand and his doctor then change it to 10 or 20 mg, it can make a difference as shown in this study. But according to this other study, to get the best result out of Tadalafil, taking 5 mg of Tadalafil every day consistently actually works much better than taking a much higher dose for the 20 mg of Tadalafil on demand. Also seen in this study with a comparison of daily 10 mg Tadalafil versus 20 mg Tadalafil on demand. The daily 10 mg actually has a 84% satisfaction rate versus just 69% for the 20 mg on demand. For men who are interested, they should ask their doctor about daily Tadalafil. Strange secret number three. If sildenafil, which is generic Viagra, is not working, would switching to Vardenafil, which is generic Clavitra or Staxin, be more effective for erectile dysfunction? In this study of 327 men, for whom 100 mg of sildenafil does not work, they tried Vardenafil 10 mg and 20 mg. Unfortunately, in this study, only 12% of these men said Vardenafil worked for them. But wait! In this other study with 463 men for whom sildenafil also doesn't work, they tried Vardenafil at 10 mg and 53% reported success. So, it seems that if sildenafil doesn't work, switching to vardenafil may be an option for some people. 
for between 12% to 53% of men, that could work. Strange secret number four. So what about increasing testosterone? Testosterone is a very important hormone when it comes to erections. So can men get better erections if an ED drug like sildenafil is used with testosterone? That's what the authors of this study wanted to know. Their results show that if patients take 100 mg of sildenafil along with oral testosterone pills, 37.5% will find that combination effective. However, they also tried giving testosterone only, and that also worked for 34.3% of patients. A note of caution about this study. These patients have low testosterone in the first place. So the conclusion is that if ED drugs like sildenafil or tadalafil is not effective anymore. Maybe a doctor can be consulted if testosterone pills may help. Strange secret number five. Can taking drugs for high cholesterol in combination with ED drugs like sildenafil make erections much better? The answer is yes. The reason is that when your blood vessels get clogged with cholesterol, then they will not be able to effectively fill with blood for a good erection. As seen in this study, 131 men who did not respond to sildenafil took 40 mg of atorvastatin, which is generic Lipitor, along with 100 mg of sildenafil. The result is a modest improvement in erectile function, especially for men with moderate to severe ED problems. So, for older men who might have cholesterol problems, it might be a good idea for them to ask their doctors about drugs to treat high cholesterol. Strange secret number six. What would happen if someone who is taking an ED drug like sildenafil also take anti-anxiety or anti-depression drugs? Would that improve erections? Strangely, the answer is possibly yes. At least, this is true for 66.7% of the men in this study who took Trizodon, an anti-anxiety drug, for two weeks before taking sildenafil. Of note, these men did not have blood pressure or cholesterol or physiological health problems. So, if ED drugs are not working, and there may be anxiety or depression problems. It might be a good idea to ask a doctor about taking anti-anxiety or anti-depression drugs while also taking ED drugs like Tadalafil or Sildenafil. This combination might just prove very effective. Conclusion I hope you guys found it useful to know which method may work if ED drugs are not working. Please support us by subscribing. Thanks for watching. Also, if you are interested in men's telehealth or ED drugs, please see the description under the video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and share. And if you have ideas for other health topics that you want to see, please write it in the comments. See you next time.